Repeat Sleep Boxing Repeat. Delight as always to be joined by Paul Kelly for another weekly betting show. I'm actually doing two shows this week. One's coming out today. It's just going to be about Chris Eubank Jr. and Liam Williams. And then one is coming out tomorrow. So talk about the undercard and other fights happening all over the world. Um, Paul, as always, yeah, really looking forward to hearing your thoughts, hearing your betting tips. Um, how's things? How are you looking forward to the fight on Saturday? Yeah, I can't wait for it, to be quite honest with you. Um, not just this fight, but the fights, as you said, all around the world on the undercard. But no, I know this 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 call is about um, specifically Eubank Williams. So, um, yeah, I've got a, got a few thing, things that I do like. Yeah, so I feel, feel like it's obviously the first... Um, first big British fight of this year um, but yeah definitely not definitely not the last there's a lot coming up so yeah really interested in hearing what you've got to say I've got a uh, one or two tips myself but um, we will go to your first to we'll go to you first what is the first tip you've got for us today plain and simple I think Eubank's going to win by stoppage um, so if you just want to go without a stand alone it's 13 to 10 to get that's you get that's the price for um, Eubank by KO TKO or disqualification um, so I think that I can see him. I can see Eubank getting the Williams. I think Williams might start faster, especially with the home crowd and everything. But I can kind of see William um, Eubank weathering the storm, coming on strong late because you know what he's got an exceptional gas tank, Eubank. Um, and I can see him potentially getting the stoppage um, in the mid to late round. So if you wanted to just go Eubank. KO, obviously, and what I said there was 13 to 10 for him to win by stoppage. If you're looking second half of the fight, which I also, which I think is definitely more likely, I don't see him stopping him in the first half of the fight. It's 11 to 4, so just short of 3 to 1. So I think that's quite good odds. And then again, if I was going to nitpick two or three rounds, I think it would happen in, it would probably be around the 9, 10, 11 rounds, which rounds 9 to 12 for Eubank stoppage is 9 to 2. So I'm kind of going big on the Eubank stoppage. Um, if I had to pick the one that I think is the best value there, I think it would probably be the Eubank around 7 to 12 at 11 to 4, because I do think he'll stop him. And I do think it'll be in the second half of the fight. When, you know, when you're kind of going into single rounds or two or three rounds, I think it's sometimes more difficult to pick. And you always seem to be one round out, don't you? So I think they're kind of going around 7 to 12 and um, maybe be your safest bet. So yeah, 11 to 4 for Eubank stoppage in the second half of the fight. Cool. No, I think that's. It feels like obviously book for bookies wise, it's some um, most people are leaning towards a stoppage for Eubank, um, and yeah, Williams is a. He's a. He's a. You know, he's a. He's a very. He's a very tough man. I think he's only been had to retire on his stool against Liam Smith in their first fight, and that was um towards the end of the fight. So, I think I agree with you prediction wise then, and decent odds as well if you consider Eubanks one of the biggest punches in the division. Um, yeah, that's I've kind of always always thought that you kind of don't don't bet against someone who's a big who's a big puncher, in my opinion. Um, despite me agreeing with you, I'm actually I'm going to highlight odds on Eubank to win um, via decision. Um, not only decision, um, Eubank to win unanimous decision is two to one. Um, so kind of. Yeah, decent odds, not kind of not not outstanding. Depends how much you're willing to put down, but um, I think if he is going to win by decision, I, I don't think it will be. I think it will be close-ish, but it's not going to be a, a split or a majority decision, in my opinion. It would be it would be unanimous. So yeah, that's kind of me, plain and simple, two to one, Chris Eubank Jr. to win. Um, Chris Eubank Jr. to win by unanimous decision. Um, so yeah, nothing kind of yeah, nothing, nothing, nothing crazy um, <laughs> so far. But have you got any any other any other outsiders, Paul, that you want to talk about? Yeah, there's there's a one. I mean, and I would it's I would never look into if I'm thinking yeah, this is definitely going to come in because it's it's a mad prediction and it's mad odds. But I know a few times I think you've mentioned before that sometimes you like the odds for a draw. Okay. Um, and the odds for a draw on this fight sixteen to one. Mm. Um, and the, the only thing the way I can see that happening is you know Williams getting off to a quick start and then Eubank getting to him down the stretch but not being able to knock him out Yeah. and then it going to the judges scorecards and it kind of being a fight of two halves and then you know they're like you know maybe one with Eubank one side's with Eubank close one side's with um, Williams close and the other does give it a say 114 114 mm. I, could see, I could see you know what at 16 to 1 if it's where if you're going to put a fiver on it, what you're going to make yourself 
what 80 odd 85 quid if, if that came in i'm not saying i'm not saying yeah you're, you're, what that's my tip for the weekend but you know the stranger things have happened and there's been a few times when these kind of big fights that get um hyped up quite a lot that are quite close on paper do end up being a draw so i thought i'd just throw that in there that's not my tip as i've already said the u rank 7 to 12 is mine but you know what 16 to 1 why not yeah for sure i think that I've done that. I've done that. I've done that a couple of times in the past. Some bets they just they are worth a fiver because it could, it could happen. Like if you bank doesn't have his best night, and obviously we're in Cardiff, Liam Williams, we're in Liam Williams' home, home country. So yeah, just can't, can't, can't rule. Can't, can't, can't rule out. Can't rule out a draw. To be honest, I think sixteen to one, sixteen to one. You can't kind of ignore that, especially if you're the sort of person who you, you want to have a, a small chance of winning a decent amount of money. I think I think it's a good bet. Um, cool. So final one from me, I think, as you mentioned, Eubank is a big puncher. Um, and he, a lot of the time, if he doesn't stop his opponent, he will knock them down. I think the James DeGale fight as, as, as an example. Um, so Chris Eubank to knock William Williams down in the first six rounds is 13 to eight. Um, so I'm not, those aren't I don't, those aren't amazing odds. I just think that I, in personally, I think it's quite it's quite likely. Um, Liam Williams was um, got knocked down. I think it was the second round against Demetrius Andrade, who, in my opinion, is, yeah, he's just, he's not as much of a puncher as Chris Eubank Jr. So I think that's I think that's fairly likely. But thirteen to eight, there's a reason why the odds aren't that amazing. So I think there's quite a good chance of it happening. Um, so yeah, first six. It's obviously, it's a twelve round fight. First six rounds, Liam Williams to be knocked down is thirteen to eight. Any any thoughts on that? Any feedback? Yeah, I think I think uh, you've mentioned that. Although I do see Williams probably coming out the first couple of rounds all guns blazing. I don't. I can I kind of see that being likely. You know, I can imagine. I can kind of picture Williams trying to rough Eubank up and Eubank land him one of his signature uppercuts or something like that, wobbling yeah. him, and you know Williams having to take a knee. Thirteen to eight. I know you say there that it's not a massive price, but I think kind of for that that type of bet. I think that is actually quite a good price, um, to be honest. And yeah, now that you've mentioned it, I might have to have a look at that myself. Yeah, yeah. No, well, as as I feel like when when there's a big fight like this, there's um plenty of yeah, plenty of what's discussed. There was lots of kind of things could happen in regards to knockdowns or the type of decision or type of stoppage. We're not going to go into in too much in too much detail. It's only one fight today. But yeah, I think it will be interesting to see if the odds change over the next couple of days or not. Um, we're recording this on the Tuesday when the odds have just come out on if someone's watching this on the Friday or the Saturday they could be quite different depending on how people have bet but yeah that's how things are at the moment um, yeah I think that's all from us Paul but yeah both looking forward to to the fight um, to everyone make sure you check out all of our content we've got prediction videos with some previews interviews with undercard fighters um, so yeah we will, we will see you soon and Paul, Paul definitely speak soon mate thanks Elliot all the best